Hey yo, what's happening? My name is Eclipse, aka Cassiobi, and you're currently hooked onto Brand Radio and I Brand Planet FM. Keep it locked. Welcome to the Brand Radio Podcast. My name is Emily. In recent times, at the onset of global economic meltdowns, frauds and acts of scams have filtered into the advertising space and tech giants are still grappling with the task of making our cyberspace a secure haven. But for the scam artists, it is a feeding frenzy. More recently, most especially in Nigeria, these scams are simply orchestrated as Facebook or Instagram ads proposing to sell buyers a commodity that is way less cheaper than the original selling price which make it look like an amber promo. Netizens are advised to be careful of these kind of online ads. However, unsuspecting victims might click on these ads selling useful commodities like interior design paraphernalia, cosmetic products, electronic products, high-end kitchen, utensils or even an outrageous super silent fuelless diesel generators. Victims that click on these ads are directed to the scammer's WhatsApp which normally will have been registered with a non-functional, unreachable but verified phone number. Business is convincingly discussed on WhatsApp, and payment protocols are directed to a pose agent, apparently in their scam network or an unsuspecting operator, or a personal bank account number. After scammers have successfully painted a believable picture of a temporarily unavailable business account, payment is made by unsuspecting victim and scammers block off victim on WhatsApp or any other means of communicating with the scammer or getting to them. As simple as these scheme might sound, a lot of Nigerians have fallen victim with little or no case reported to the appropriate authorities or even Facebook because Nigerians no longer believe in the corrupt law enforcement system. However, from our investigations, China has done a lot in securing its e-commerce and which a conversational commerce even more secure with multi-level facial, bio data and verifiable peer network recommendations before you can be added to Wechat or Alipay. We tried reaching out to Facebook on these to no avail. In recent news on the official EFCC Instagram page, a suspect was paraded for defrauding a Belgian to the tune of 45,000 euros. From sentimental analysis we carried out on their comments section, it is evident that Nigerian youths justify fraud perpetration pointing accusing fingers at majority of corrupt politicians who were never brought to book. They see present-day fraud and internet scams as personal vendetta of recouping monies taken away by foreigners from their African forefathers. Jimmy, Joy and our brand Radio Brain I ask what do you think of this? Because the question I ask is, even if you report these bogus ads on Facebook or Instagram posing as legitimate businesses, how many reports are enough before Facebook take down these ads or fake account? Secondly, in the year of artificial intelligence, deep learning and machine learning, what is Facebook doing to identify these fake ads before or after they go live? Before we go on, let's take a message from the brand radio. What up, y'all? This is Dedena, a.k.a. The Classic Man, hanging out right here on Brand Planet Radio. You're listening to the best station. Brand Radio. The station with the best music in your face all over the place. Oh, yes. We all know that Jesus turned water to wine. But remember, he didn't get drunk. Don't drink if you're going to drive and say no to hard drugs or violence. This is a message from the Brand Radio. Brand. Planet Radio. You're listening to the best station. Brand Radio. The station with the best music in your face all over the place.
Welcome back to the Brand Radio Podcast where we are discussing digital frauds in advertising and I have with me in the studio DJ Shilak, Jimmy and Mrs. Javanna. So Jimmy, what do you think of this worrying issue gradually creeping into online advertising? So you know the funny thing going around this fraud um, issue in Nigeria now? Okay, so I'm on the I'm on the EFCC official website. So there was this guy that was arrested that um, that was paraded and then on the official website they posted they posted his um, picture so he used them um, a fake EFCC identity card mm -hmm. to defraud a Belgian woman of to up to the tone of about 45,000 euros so, we go to the comment section and, you know, what people are just saying is that, you know, okay, take for example now, let me read what this uh, user said. It says, uh, what about the politicians stealing Nigerian money? You know, another user says, what about the oil thieves in the Niger Delta? Why can't they go after them? You know, a lot of comments like that but you know the one that really caught my eye is the number of the comments that stands on the fact that what about the corrupt politicians that you are going out that why are they not going after them you know that is innocent nigerians that they are going after you know you know all the oil thieves and those involved in federal and state government fund diversion and embezzlement how many have you been able to prosecute and punish adequately? None. At the end, a shorty will come out, bail will be granted, and the business of looting continues unchecked. Face public officials more. Nigeria is underdeveloped today because of the greed of our past and present leader. Not only Yahoo boys, up your game and do more. That's on one in my plate to five. So I'm asking myself, does this justify fraud? It does not justify for, but I'm trying to look at it from what this person is trying to say. What this person is saying is that you did a good job, yes, but there are people right in your face that you should be looking for too. Don't focus. You people are packing all your attention on the Yahoo boys and the small small boys and the boys that are doing duties. The main people, these politicians, they know, we know them. Why? What is stopping people from facing them? It is a valid question. I totally agree with this person because it is it is even more irritating and annoying that you go out after, after these people, you do everything and then you catch them. It shows that if you want to do your job, you will do it. What is stopping you from going after the politicians that are the thief themselves? But well, we can't say the ESC is not trying their best now because I mean, who says that? No, there, 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 there's, there's been a lot of what's it called? There's been a lot of politicians that have been prosecuted. Now, let me not mention names that, that we see. Yes, let me not mention names. Aside from Nnamdi Dikalo, have been which of? No, even Nnamdi Dikalo had been released now. I mean, Ibuli that was caught was not caught by Nigeria. He was not caught here. Hope you know that. Which politician, as at ten years ago, as like. Between the space of 10 years now, the same prison that that guy that stole 5 million naira counts the politician. If I just call one for stealing 10 billion naira, or let's remove 10 billion, for stealing 100 million, what the politician? The same jail, there's jail for the rich and jail for the poor. Yeah. It's one jail, right? The same jail you will put that man that, that defrauded somebody of 5 million naira. Is that not the same jail a politician that stole 100 million, 15 million should be? And you and I know that they steal more than that. Which of them did the jail? None. The only thing they tell us, they will count their names on TV. They don't put them anywhere. They just disgrace them by calling their name. They stole, and these things are normal. They will sit in their city room and still drink wine and watch, watch themselves with us. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, sorry to call you. Right? So, you, you know what? You know what confuses me a bit, right? Is that, like I rightly said initially, eh? okay, so EFCC is not going after the corrupt politicians. Economy is bad, accepted. 
none of the politicians that are caught are prosecuted, accepted. But is that a justification for the young for the young? Still? No, no. Let me learn now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is that a justification for our youngsters to go into fraud? Or would you say because yeah. would you say because um, you've not eaten, you don't have money in your hand, then you go and carry a gun and go and rob a bank? You are going to get caught and killed. That is not what that I understand. No, 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 no. Because true. see. My own POV is this. My point of view is this. Whatever the format or the scam that he has put together to defraud that Belgian of that amount of money had to have been a very brilliant idea. Before. Why don't you put that in a proper proposal and send to the guy or the lady or whoever the Belgian or the, whoever the victim is? You don't know what I'm saying. So what I'm trying to say is this. It all just boils down to laziness and greed and the the that is what i'm that is exactly what i'm saying so now it is in this same era that some young tech guys are, i mean look at i don't want to start to mention names but they, i love them people putting together ideas yeah. no 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 because no you know i don't really now because i don't want to go into the nitty of having to count their names you know what anyway, i'm trying to say anyway for me in all of this eh? They don't steal from Oh, he's stealing. Fraud is stealing now. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if the young boys, they always say that you, nah, the, the white people stole from their forefathers. That's what they always say. That, that's the reason why they are doing their work. Eh, we are trying to take the exactly. forefathers. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to say that. Eh, they, took, they took from your forefathers. Back then, yes, they came, they, are, they colonized the country, they did this, they did that. Oh, yes. What I am trying to say is that from now to tomorrow, there is no justification for saving. And no matter how you there's try, no justification, to absolutely. It, there's no reason. The law will catch up with you. There's no excuse for being a bad person. There's no excuse for killing somebody. There's no excuse for defrauding anybody. The person where you steal from is steal from you. If the person where you did steal from stole from you, you are trying to get it back. It's a different thing. You see your forefathers. That's a very useless excuse. Do you know your forefathers? And who are your forefathers? And then where are the forefathers? Did they collect money from your forefathers when they were still eating, eating true trade by butter? So what exactly are you holding on to? Because they say these things to deceive their fellow people, their fellow people that they want to brainwash. What I am trying to say in this is that I am facing the EUCC. If you can catch somebody as brilliant as that guy, that is a lot of money to defraud somebody of. It is a lot. For you to not have used, what, what did they say to this person that made her drop? I'm that telling guy? you. Yes, that person has to be. It has to be a very brilliant idea. Now, I know the effort they would have made to catch that person, catch this guy, the EFCC. What I am trying to say is that people can do this much. Pin How much more? Pinning the politician won't know. Well, okay. Well, for for the politics now, you know how all these things we go know. now. That's yeah, exactly. But we do do we still want to also shy away from the fact that there are, there will have been some other high profile cases that we cannot mention? Do you understand? Maybe because we don't have evidences that they will say you do. Um, what's it called? They will say, oh. Uh, because he's son to somebody, somebody, somebody. Yes. A lot of kids will have gone underground. Yeah, good. That's what we are saying. You know? Now the people will not get people with the back them. Now their kids. This boy that stole this money. If Barangida's son, then they, they work together, then they push him, then they pack him, and he steal this money. We are you and I will not be hear this news. Because when they go catch him, he call the name of. The prominent politician with the bag. You know, we won't kill him, boy, without calling the politician. Officer. We hold your boy, you he call your name, say you did behind him. Okay, hold on, don't do anything to him. Keep that one will call superior. Whoever you are, you're answerable to somebody. If you even sure. want to put the gun in his head and blow off his call, you won't want to do that because of your gun. Sure. Just as a phone call. So they feel out, ask him, Who are you working with? Who are you working with? I'm not working with anybody, so I'm working on my own. Then make the hero. 
Now make with the hear them because if the moment they catch them, he no say if not big man they back when the first name when he go call because he wants to be set free. You go call the person name, and you with they don't with they don't call say Buhari Pekin in the work for. Will you want to kill him before Buhari Pekin will find out? You will not want your food generation to be missing. So you first of all call your superior say this person calls us so person name we need to confirm maybe they lie. Then when they call her, ah, it's my boy. Oh, ah, he stole money. Please, please hold on. Let's we need to investigate. So I don't do anything to. They go put her for VIP cell. That news will not make it out. The only reason that news came out is because he stole that kind of money. Does not have anybody behind him. That's why you are here. Yes. A lot of cases has gone down because there is no prominent person behind them. But I feel, I feel what the ESCC is doing is not bad because, I mean, no, it's just I'm a deterrent. Saying, I am not saying that. Look at the Desiani case. There were a lot of other high-profile fraud cases. Don't get me wrong. That they did a lot of work on. They did a lot of work on them. And yes. to some extent, it has deterred, it will deter some, what's the it called, some politicians. Say, yeah. The only thing we say, the fear of saying, because of the way they don't do their job. They don't kind of put fear for these people. Exactly. But that does not change the fact that these people do their job. These people, you see, there's a way that this politics thing works. And I think that King of Boys really give insight to how they run it inside, in total. And I don't say that inside person because that detail was too much. Even when you watch part two, you will now you understand. They, this Baba Oke, who put who? Well, he's been seen. he's been around for a while now, he's so it, it doesn't take. It's not going to take overnight to. It's not going to exactly. But the thing is that if you want to do your work, Nigerians at this point they expect you to do your job. They don't want you to. They, they are trying to. What they are, what Nigerians want is don't favor some people. Don't favor because this person is rich. Even the person will not be high and mighty. We get hundred million for we no be politician, but now rich man. As Oscar did there, hmm? if he tell police say, no put this my person for sale. He no go stay for sale. He no go stay for sale because he no person, we no person, we no person, we know the people. He doesn't have to be a politician. He just this thing that rich the rich people, and that's why you will take some cases now and go and drop it. There's a process to catching a thief. Hmm? For the poor people, it's a process to catch an exit for the rich people. For the poor people, in fact, the two cases, money is the process. For the poor, if you are not dropping the money, they will tell you that they are doing the job. Even police will use the word, we are working on it. See the inspector when uh, Kitesha said, go meet the superior for a while. When they travel, go okay, yeah, which I go me this. See, what are you doing about this? We are working on it. Before she shout, we are working on it. That is what they oh, keep telling you. This movie we uh, saw. Uh, what's Blood the name? Sister. Blood Sister. They are working on it. It's a thing. <laughs> what do they want to do? What do you want me to tell? They are working on it. But the moment the box of money landed on the table, they needed fall in their bed. <laughs> See where they traveled to. They traveled to a, a, a okay, boom, a big one. They, they will be waka because money is doing this job. Hmm. This is something that we know. Oh, you book, you like you. Pay. In fact, the moment you drop money, you are the first suspect. You are, you are just giving them the lead. The book will begin a trace in food generation. You get waiting in the hide. Hmm. They will start to find if now you book, the mama come pay for you book to do work. They will start to find from the mother's side. What did you say? Don't do it. They try to cover with the push us. Exactly. But in our own case, the moment you drop money, you are immune to anything. Huh. So you are coming now, you are saying this boy, yes, instill. First of all, the reason why these are all boys, they say they get mind and this boy will force it in fraud. Now, because, see, even though they know so they can catch them. They the vet say the people where they do the real thing, you know they catch them. Now the small small one I can't jump, now you can't catch. Mm -hmm. But you know they rob the small small one. Now the innocent people see they call it from. 
So nothing justifies nothing justifies fraud. Nothing justifies nothing. fraud at any level, nothing. really, nothing. honestly. Absolutely. Because the law will catch up with nothing. you. The law will catch up with you and you will face the music. The only people that go scoff free and I will say that I will not hide my mouth and the rich. Well, to all our listeners worldwide, thank you for listening. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms at the brand radio or brand planet radio TV and leave us a comment. I will be leaving you with the earth song by Lil Dicky. Go green and remember to keep our planet clean. Watch out for follow up tracks like Tuli Coma Vibes by Tahoma featuring Talibian Ed. Candy advising you to love your body and protect your mental health. My name still remains Emily and I am a static conversational robot with the brand radio. This is the future of radio. Until the next time, stay creative and bye for now. Millions in California are dealing with the dangers of extreme heat and rapidly spreading wildfires. 103 degrees in downtown Los Angeles, 112 in Burbank, as climate change continues to yield record temperatures. Get out of the road! Relax, dude. The bus overheated or something. Can you for four hours? Can we just please Shut up, dude! No, 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 no. Get him in the trash! And get him in the trash! No, 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 Okay, your brother probably sucks. Look at how you turned out. You're a rat. Your whole household is probably completely mismanaged. Hey, suck my butt, little dicky. Suck your butt? How about you take that perfectly round head and suck my butt? How about that? Hey, police! Pick up the trash. He's trying to eat our butt. There's an environmental crisis right now, and you're just going to litter on the street? Grow up. It's your boy, just one of the guys down here. Well, I could be more specific. Uh, I'm a human. And I uh, just wanted to, you know, for the sake of all of us Earthlings out there, just wanted to say...
the earth for so long and still don't know, don't know. I hope it's not a simulation. Give each other names like Ahmed and Pedro. And yeah, we like to wear clothes. Girls still look beautiful and it covers up our human. Eat a lot of tuna fish. But these days it's like we don't know how to act. All these shootings, pollution, we under attack on ourselves. Like, let's all just chill. Respect what we built. Like, look at the internet, it's cracking this. Oh, yeah, fellas, don't you let it. And I heard women are better than a. So what we got is land for. What we got to stand for. Love. And we love the. Come on, everybody. I know we're not all the same, but we're living on the same earth. Have you ever been to Earth? Everyone who's listening has been to Earth, Ariana. We're not making music for aliens here. Are we gonna die? You know what, Bieber? We might die. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, there's so many people out there who don't think global warming's a real thing. You know, we gotta save this planet. We're being stupid. Unless we get up together now. Guys, everybody look into whatever the... Leonardo DiCaprio is always pushing because I feel like that guy knows more about the earth and how we're it up than anybody. Like if the aliens did come, we should definitely send Leo as our guy, our rep. In fact, the prophets that come along with the streams and the sale of this song are going right into the earth. Let's raise some money for charity. Any words, Leo? This might be my favorite song ever. It's awesome. Wow. Thanks, Leo. Honestly, everybody, scientists are saying that we have about 12 years to turn this environmental crisis around or we're screwed. What do you say? You guys want to save the world? Of course you do. Go to the website and learn how we're going to do it. Can you look, baby, baby, baby? I was, huh? Tuli koma futa, tuli koma vibe, 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 baby, tuli koma futa. Tuli koma vai, baby, tuli koma futa Tuli koma vai, vai, tuli koma futa Tuli koma vai, tuli koma futa Tuli koma vai, baby, tuli koma futa Tuli koma vai, baby, tuli koma futa Tuli koma vai, vai, tuli koma futa Tuli koma vai, tuli koma futa Start with the jolly, with energy, in your body 